Hello. Um, I don't know if I started the recording. Hello, everybody. Okay, we'll use that. That that's how we're in. Hi, we back. Oh, really? We right. back. That's right. I was doing the uh, the announcers from Ned's Declassified. Uh, Willie Galton. I feel like that could Some... be an announcer for many things. Yeah, but well, that's specifically right. how they say it. Awesome! That's the badge I wanted. Glad I got one of those finally. I <laughs> took them fucking long enough to give that to me. Um, alright, so, now we can progress on, knowing now that we've, uh, well, we've achieved something. Anyhow, uh, it's a different day now, so let me tell you what happened today for me. Um, it was actually really cool, because I, uh, got to go to a staff mm -hmm. meeting at my work, and that sounds boring, and you're right! So, let's move on, <laughs> let's move on to what happened right after the staff meeting. Um, oh, god, that was horrific lag right there. Um... Oh. Uh, okay. I don't think I can do that on the fly like that, but, uh... <laughs> um, and they're alright. That's the other one. Yeah, so, uh, what is it? We have, um, what's it called? We have a background voice, but that's okay. I decided that was okay. Besides, yeah. this is basically what we did in Season 1. What, what's the difference? Yeah. Remember is that? It? You were talking about Toledo surprises and shit? Not it's even one mention to it. Toledo surprise. Yeah. Not even one mention to Toledo Surprise. How dare you? Um, okay, anyhow. Are, are, are you upset I haven't referenced the Toledo Surprise in a while? Uh, no, I'm only upset no, because Zinker, you didn't reference rape it. rape is no laughing matter. Only upset I can't believe because you would advocate it for rape. Only because you didn't reference <laughs> it for uh, this show, uh, where we first talked about the Toledo Surprise. Back in Battle oh, Metal. Is this really where we first did? Yeah, we did episode three. So when we first entered uh, Pedal Meadows, Meadow, Meadow, Pedal Meadows. Pedal Meadows, Meadows. Yeah, that 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 was when that happened. So that was that was cool. Um, hmm. Yeah. So the the um. But anyhow, so right after the staff party, we played something called Laser Tag, and we played a really cool game mode. You want to know what it was called? Sure. Zombie. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, so apparently Lasertron has this has an infected game mode, um, and we fit and my uh, boss decided to fiddle around with it uh, that day because we're all um, because we're all there gathered in one place. Um, yeah. Because you know reasons. So uh, it, that we got to play it and it was really cool. Um, I wasn't a zombie to begin with. Okay. It was uh it, I I was a human. And sure. the first round, the first round was pretty uninteresting because no one knew what the, More no one match. understood what the zombies were supposed to do. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, <coughs> it, it sure, it was funny though. Um, I was going to say, laser tag sounds like a kind of difficult place to have an infected mode. Uh, no, it wasn't that bad. It, it, cause it looks, so, it looks sort of like Halo. I'm infected, mm -hmm. except you have, uh, the humans had like 60 lives and 300 pulses. Um, mm -hmm. and then, uh, what's them called? What are they called? Zombies. Zombies had, uh, when, when I played, they had 80 pulses and 20 lives, which was way too much. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. So the first round, nothing really happened because they didn't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, he, I think he changed the settings each game because they began with four zombies. Okay. Although one of them left, but, uh, they began with essentially four zombies, um, Hold on, I'm mm -hmm. just thinking. All right, so um, so but there, so it was really just three zombies in that situation. But um, then and the next game, I began as a zombie. Um, mm -hmm. And so I began. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm try, I'm just trying to think. It's hard to think and do this at the same time. It really is. Um, so sure. I began as a zombie. So I'm like, all right. All you fucks are becoming... I, I screamed at, like, the beginning of it. All right, everyone's becoming a zombie now. Because I was mm -hmm. a zombie. Um, and sure enough, I actually spread out through the entire arena. Um, and I went and infected everyone. Like, we won my game. Because I was a... Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I was one of the zombies. And I'm just like, all right, everyone. You're all becoming zombies. I'm not... <laughs> We're not... It's not going to be like the first round. Humans aren't winning this round. Uh, <laughs> Okay. It was funny, yeah. And then when I, and that's where, and that's because I, I think part of that was because uh, the zombies had like twenty lives. That's a lot. Mm. That's yeah. a lot of lives. Um, and it was a good. There was seventeen of us in the arena, I believe. 
So, we, we, had a, we had a good size amount of people. But it was really fun. Um, then we actually played uh, one more game, too. Uh, and that one... That one, there's only one interesting moment. Um, the other zombies had figured out what to do in that moment. Uh, so... That was, so, you know, it wasn't like the easy, easy first round where you could just camp in a spot and kind of hide mm -hmm. and no one would find you. Um, yeah. It was actually kind of concerning. Um, at one point, I retreated back from the top floor back downstairs to the green base on the first floor. Um, mm -hmm. And I was, with a, I was with a girl, and I walked into a corner, and I turned around, and she became a zombie. And she's like, mm -hmm. aha, I'm like, oh no! So then I ran forward, I ran to my friend, I'm like, oh no! So like, I curve off ahead of him, and then there's a zombie, another mm -hmm. zombie there, I'm like, oh no! This is how it ends! This is how it all ends! Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's basically the notable parts of the infected mode. I'm disappointed. That's how infected always goes, usually. It's, it's usually just, you know, people... I, it was pe much better than a uh, Halo zombies infected. gain momentum, then. It's... Yeah, it was much better than Halo um, Infected to me. Oh, well, I, I should I say imagine Halo it's Infected. Because it's, it's live action. It's like actually through life. You're actually doing stuff. Well, you know, I I really... We, we played, we played uh, Halo Reach Infected. And actually, that should air by now. Um, and I really dislike the Halo playlist infections. Because... Okay. Uh, because... Um, Alright, I'll take that. Let me, uh, let me just toss Tasty Tonic. Okay. Um, I, I dislike them because, like, it's just sort of, like, it's designed well and the humans don't immediately die. Just sort of, like, yeah. in that, uh, sort of, like, in that, um, in the laser tag, in the Lasertrons game where the humans yeah. don't immediately die. They have a good 60 life. No, we had, uh, 30 lives. I'm sorry, not 60. Um, they told us mm -hmm. we had 60, but then I looked at our thing we had 30. And it was a concern. Um, so, what was I? What was I saying? Oh yeah, but see, the thing with Halo Reach and the game modes is that zombies don't have shields, so they die yeah. immediately. Um, yeah. And it, it, it's just, it's not fun for the zomb. It's not fun for anyone who's a zombie because uh, it's they're, they're, the idea is that zombies should have or should have to work. You should be able to pick off people. You should be able to. Early on, you in the in a game of infection, you should be or like in matchmaking, you should be able to pick off one or two people, assuming that people or assuming that not everyone is is a good player, um, and then as you get more people on your team, you should be able to overwhelm, uh, people who stray off. If everyone in in, in a game of infection sticks together, um, off the off the bat, and you have like the like two or three starting zombies, I don't remember how many there were for infection, uh, three in Halo, yeah. Uh, if you have, like, the two or three that, um, are starting zombies, just, um, uh, never be able to reach them because they're, everyone's sticking together and working together, um, then, like, uh, the humans can absolutely just never, like, lose anybody. But usually, I don't, I don't recall games of, or playing, or while playing matchmaking, I don't really recall any times where just, like, nobody was able to get to, uh, or, like, no one was able to get to any of the humans, I I, uh, I liked Infection in Halo, um, and especially in Reach a lot. Infection. I think it was fun. Uh, I like well, no, I like the regular Infection in Halo Reach. Like the regular Infection, you have shields. It's the playlist one. Is that that's what it's I'm just, saying? I like that a lot. Well, the, the thing is, it's just it's not fun for the zombies though, because it just it, all it is is you dying and responding, dying and responding, dying and responding, dying it can, and responding. It depends. It depends on what. It, a it depended on the map, and B it depended on no, what the humans did. <laughs> so if the humans did something, there were places there were they worked out. They did fix it or like try to fix it <laughs> a lot later on in the game, where or in the game's lifespan, where like they would make it so. Um, they made it so certain areas that humans would sometimes climb up to, uh, to get, like, to where, like, zombies couldn't reach, or, like, if they, or zombies could still reach there, but, like, it was incredibly hard for them to reach. Um, they made it so those areas, uh, had a, uh, like, um, a, a kill area, basically, like, where, like, if, it, it would be, like, return to play area or something like that, where oh, you die. Oh, yeah, but... Um, they did eventually start to fix those, um, cause, they, and to be fair, there's no way they could have known where people were going to, to, or people were going to go to some of those spaces, um, early on in development. Oh, yeah, no, but I like, get... 
But it's not just the camping thing. It's like it's the fact that they have no shields. They die immediately. That's what it fine. is is n no progress is made. You know. Um, I, don't know what you're, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, all right. So like in the Lasertron, uh, in the Lasertron game. Sure. Um. You know, the humans have lives. Yeah. So if you get shot, even if you're getting like shot a lot, like you die immediately. Chances are you probably were able to. Either make them lose pulses, but that's not too. That doesn't really matter too much. Um, or mm. you make you make them lose lives, um, which and that that slowly starts to weaken them. So it actually, you know, it actually lets you sort of like batter yeah. down the defenses. Um, in, that so can't happen in Halo Reach. In Halo, you run out. You you have ammo. You, you do, do have, have, have ammo, ammo, but for one thing, uh, you which can will actually get exhausted. I yeah. run out, or run, running out of pistol ammo is very much is very possible. Running yes. out of shotgun ammo still can also happen, but it's not as likely until unless it's like near the end of a round. Yeah, um, but see, and, that's the, that's the thing with that one is that uh, by then it th like that person has gotten thirty kills for, for like five minutes. That's fine. It means they were good. Yeah, but okay, but that means the zombies died thirty times. There was nothing they could okay. do. Okay, that they could have done something. They could have all charged at the same time. And that does, and depending on how many humans are left, that doesn't always work. And the other yes, issue with that is... it doesn't always work, but you can usually... It's... I don't think I've ever... I don't recall ever seeing a game of infection where just the zombies could not reach any of the humans. I don't ever recall seeing... I see, It's rare to see a game of, or, of infection where, there's where like, someone survives the round. Let okay. alone, like... They do it eventually, well, yes, but it's, like, after 27 times of dying. Okay. And just so? getting lucky and killing the guy. That, like... I don't see where the problem lies here. Okay, that's not fun. Derek, when you're getting... Here, think about an ultimate chicken horse, right? When you die when you die immediately because I've done some bullshitty thing, do you feel yeah. happy about that? You don't die immediately, first of all. It, it, generally, you get... generally. No, uh, you have to go search out where they are. You then when go, you reach them... You have them, to get up to them. Yep, you generally... Then, because unless they, but like, that's pick, not pick off the all right, pistol, but that's like, not gameplay. Get Getting up to them is not gameplay. That's just walking My to them to is, die again. My point is, you have again. the oppor you have the opportunity. It's just look. If someone's a look, I I think it's fine. I think it's a fine game mode because it's a it's a really good it's a good setup where good Here, players look, can do this good. This is a bad very perfect opportunity, Derek. See all these zombies? Nothing. They got nothing on me. Bam! Look at that. This guy's dead too. I. <laughs> He's gonna get fucked hard. Uh, actually, oh, that guy's lucky. Well, that's not lucky. Anyhow, uh, let me see how much red bones has. I don't actually want her in front because she'll die. Uh, I'm going to begin by. Well, I don't know what flower? I'm going to begin by doing. What'd you say? A fire flower. Who has a fire? I don't have a fire flower. I'm asking flower if you have one. No, I don't have one. Uh, yeah, fire. I guess you probably don't have fire drive. No, I did actually uh, pick it up in my other playthrough. Fire drive is my favorite. Uh, badge. It's a good one. It's a really you, good attack. Yeah. Did you uh, did you equip another power smash? No, I didn't. I have both of my power smashes de equipped. Oh, okay. oh, I didn't know I had a life stream. Well, okay, Goombella's back alive. Yay! Ow! For the love of God, you assholes, stop attacking, cunts. Okay. So, yeah, I go just... ahead. From my memory of playing Halo Reach or Halo Reach's Infection, at no point did I feel things were un like the, I never at no point did I feel that <coughs> the setup was unfair. There were times I did get there oh, were I do times have a I did get equipped. upset. I would get upsetty, and that would be because the uh, or because the human <coughs> human players would get up would like do some shit where they like jump on top of each other and get up to a ledge where we cannot reach. To which to which. That was a very much a problem. However, they did eventually fix that. Um, that's where I found there was. That's where I would say that there was a problem. That, however, the way it was set up, at no point did I ever feel. Even though I would like, there would be times where it's just like, yeah, I I keep dying as a zombie. Uh, there were like it didn't feel like it didn't feel boring to me. It didn't feel unfair. It didn't feel like I was being cheated out of anything. I it just felt like that's just how the game that's how the game works. I still enjoy playing the game because it's incredible. Like Ultimate Chicken Horse, it's er, despite the fact that it's very difficult to actually get anywhere. Once you do, like once you can get there and kill someone, it's a good. It's, it's sa very satisfying. I I guess. And the now. satisfaction of actually being of like 
getting through all the shit and like murdering someone in that is very it was a very satisfying uh feeling in the game um, i don't know i i i you, I, it's one okay. thing to say you don't like the infection mode. That that's fine, but saying it's just a poorly designed game mode uh, or in general because not in general. Can... Um, poorly designed in uh in the playlist version. I don't. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Yeah, I know, but Derek, you're never right on anything. <laughs> I really like how I, how our arguments end. <laughs> Just, See, you just complain here. about how I say you complain about my whole thing about nah, and then that's literally <laughs> the only argument you ever use. I mean, it, it's, it's not your it's, argument is your is you're wrong because I say so. But I mean, it, it, I don't think you really covered. It, it's sort of like none of neither of what we said refutes each other. You know, like it thought like it thought what you said doesn't. I'm saying, I can I say. I'm saying if you don't like the game, that's fine, but I wouldn't say it's a poorly designed game mode because I, for as far, from what I recall, it had a lot of oh, success. Shit. A lot of people were in that like, playlist when it, it, or when it was, while it was a thing. Um, well, that's because, I, I don't think it was initially, actually. That's agreed, because if you're but, a human, you can do good. Like, it's fun for the human. The human gets like 10,000 kills or whatever, not really that much. But it's it like it never bothered me starting as a zombie because uh, like it just or if I was a starting zombie it, it usually meant I'm still gonna get a couple kills because I'm going to get in there and I'm going to to I'm going to because uh, especially when you have still had evade I'm going to roll into a group of people slash two of them and then probably die. Um, uh, they did remove evade in some of those and I hated they did those. remove I hated evade those and I wars. hated they should not have removed evade that was incorrect that was wrong that they was, should not have done that was that was, that I'm was glad the we best can both sit down and like. Fuck them for removing evade. That was I, the best part about playing as a zombie is rolling into a group of humans. Literally yeah. rolling into a group of humans. But see, like uh, that, you for know the what, fact I, that you could use it to get like an extra jump or like extra height with a that jump. That one, or, like, that one, I don't remember being as bad. <coughs> too. I remember that going like I remember the evade like making it like a lot easier for zombies to like, you know, like I mean that you still got like someone who might make it to ten or fifteen, which is annoying, but like. And consistently, I should say. Um, but that... Honestly, the, the Infection playlist was set in a structured in a very similar manner to HVZ. And I like HVZ. I, well, like, HVZ... Both playing both, I like playing both aspects of HVZ. As hey, a zombie, well... I have yet... Or as a zombie, I've tagged a single person during a week-long game. And that was because he ran into me while I was a Twitch. Um, like, I didn't even do that. I still like playing as a zombie. No, I my see the thing with HVZ is that that's a, the stakes are different there. Like it's not it's not like it's a humans you have know, one life. Same thing as or same thing as a round of infection. No, you're right there, but like it the stakes are less lower in Halo. You know, you get infected in one game in uh, Reach, there's gonna be another game. Like um, yes. uh, about five minutes later. My point is, is humans have the same. Humans in HVZ have the same advantage over zombies as they do in in Reach. But it's under a different have... context. There's you know different stakes to it. Yeah, it's I keep fucking okay. Up here. So a week long in HVZ is the same. A week long in the... a week long in the... or the time doesn't matter. The time frame doesn't matter. And regardless of what, regardless, people are are going to have, move with the same caution in HVZ as they do, in, or as they would in a game of Reach. Regardless not, of the that, fact that, that you do have another round, there's still going to be another HVZ next next uh, spring or next uh, semester. But that's a long uh, time. That doesn't matter. There's still going to be a next another one. Like there is a still okay. a next time. Not my for point everyone. Is, is the time the time frame doesn't influence. Th my point is the concepts between the two are the same, and they they. Both go they're, very. They're still diff different. They're similar. still different concepts, though. It's well, not different concept. The different con sorry, the different, of, con different context. Yeah, the different context. Different context. Difference is the different period context. of time. Differ if you keep arguing concept, stop. The difference. <laughs> I said context. I changed it to context. Okay, I meant I, context. My, I don't understand what you're saying is different at this point. Then, the well, because it you, you're saying there's a next game always, but. There's a, a limited amount of games. You can't. You can play Halo Reach infected until the servers go down, which that's not. That's not going to be for years. All right. Well, now, ask... now it might be sooner, but like. How many games of infection have you played in the playlist? Uh, plenty. I used to okay, play. Why would... I, I, not more than you, but. Okay, uh... let me put it this way: How if you were to go, if you were to, 
if Halo 73 were to just come out right now mm-hmm. and you were to hop in or hop online, play Infection, and you were to see that it is there is a very similar setup to Halo Reach, how many games of it would you play before you're like, all right, I don't like this. I don't like this as a zombie. Uh... It's exact. It's exactly like Halo Reach, or it's is exactly it... like Halo Reach. This is Halo. Or you're playing Halo Reach. It's just new get new context. I might give it a few more shots, but I would probably get bored of it really quick. My point. Okay, so my point is, is it doesn't take, or it would not take you very long to come to a conclusion of how you feel about it. HVZ is a very similar thing. After playing a game of HVZ, you can probably come to a conclusion of if you like or of what you like what you, and what you don't. Uh, play, after playing a game, of, actually, let me rephrase it. It probably takes two games of HVZ because the first one you're probably just gonna die real quick and not do and not succeed at, at yeah, anything because you don't know what for a long doing. time in my first game. Yes, but did you actually do anything besides uh, just move from safe zone to safe zone? I know. I just. I know. I survived. Yeah, I did. I did a mission or two. I survived for a long time. I, no, being going to a mission and doing something for a mission are two different things. I did something for a mission. I think. The I don't n- first night I was out, I did something for I a mission. I, I definitely did not go the first night out. I was like, I went nope. With, <laughs> I went the first night out. I walked with people while they were doing mission. Uh, I left like an hour into the mission because I was spooked. Uh, and ba- pretty much, and, and and like I was just like done with it. Um. You know, you know, not... you know what it else though. Uh, th- this is another thing about humans versus zombies versus uh, the infection game mode. Uh, the humans are well more powerful, and um, uh, the humans are well more powerful in Hero Reach than they are in uh, HVZ. What? What did you say? You are out of your mind. What do you mean? A, uh, Reach doesn't have say. Does Reach doesn't Shotgun have say? Shotgun versus Nerf pistol, Derek. I can hold more darts in the nerf in the nerf blast than I can in the Halo Halo shotgun. Yes, but also they aren't as accurate as someone who would be firing in a first person shooter. They also have er <coughs> That's yeah. not entirely incorrect. It's However, not, it no. doesn't or at the range you're at the range you're operating or both operate at, it doesn't really make much of a difference. It doesn't make a significant enough difference. The difference I is that you don't have a pistol. Disagree. The difference is that I can't shoot someone from across the campus. Not to mention a shotgun just in general at close range, which is where it tends to be. People in people in H V Z are or humans in H V Z are well stronger than they expect. Also you're not dealing with as many zombies at once generally. Because, because while it's true at night during night missions, you get giant ass hordes of pe- of, of zombies. Um, you do. There is still the thing, or there is still the stun timer, which is seven minutes. Well, it used to be seven minutes. Now it's five. Um, oh, even better. They're actually, actually they're trying to make the game harder for humans because it's right now it's way too easy, uh, especially with rivals. Um, it's re- rivals. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I forgot. Well, about. you know, H- H- I wouldn't say H V Z is perfectly balanced either. Unless it's we no, forget, no, unless we forget the ex- extraction where humans just made it in like one minute. No, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's just that's just the uh, remember that's the admins being bad. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. I remember that. It's um, not it's, a per- it's, it's not important. a perfectly balanced game. It's the, not a perfectly balanced game. That's correct. The the reason my argument for the reason why the humans are a little more overpowered to zombies is that. The stakes feel much higher. It's it's the same stakes in Hero Reach, but the it's just the context. It's just that you know, like you don't like. There's not gonna be another round like ten minutes later where you get to play. You can be a human again. It's like you're just a human, and then once you're tagged, I mean, you can anti you can antivirus. But so yeah. for people who are are uh, good H HV- <coughs> for good HVZ players and people who played for a long time and like really like are. For veteran players, um, I can tell you from my from my experience, from playing HVZ in a week long and from playing in a uh, mini game where it's just like a quick round of HV of HVZ where it's like three starting zombies and like fifteen humans. It's very similar to the amount of in Halo Reach's infection. Um, doesn't really feel much different. It's still very it's very similar progression very similar and it's the same thing it's the exact actually that's a better probably example is mini games for HVZ uh, when we've done those um, be it in nerfology or uh, just like in just an, uh, an HVZ mm-hmm. mini game where they meet on meet on like a weekend or something to, to play um, 
it's a, it's pretty much exactly the same game type as Reach, except instead of having a map, we have a gym, an open gym. Um, but uh, yeah, at no point or the zo- it's a very similar case. But the zombies are dying or zombies die uh, a lot. They resp- <coughs> they do respawn very quickly in what? that in in that context. Um, yeah, because they, they it's they the exact have same to. thing. But it's still fun to play as a zombie. For that um because even if there's 15 humans to, and three zombies you're eventually going to either find you're either going to sneak your way through people shooting at you or people just not seeing you or something like that which is the exact same thing you do in reach to get to people to get to kills and or to get kills as a, as an initial as a starting zombie or you're oh, going cool. to eventually run someone out of, or run someone out of darts enough where you can just run or go straight up to them and hit them because they're going to not be able to reload fast enough or you're going to be able to just like that's just that's just you how know, it works. You know, it's it is all, very you know what's also different about that? Hmm. How many of those zombies in the mini game are volunteers? Like they volunteer for the zombie. Vo- usually, there's usually it, it's or usually there's more. You know, there, usually, there's also there's also there's something, a lot of people who like to volunteer for being a zombie. Yeah, there's also something to be said that it. some people, some people just enjoy that style. Better, yes, that, that makes is sense. Correct. Some people do enjoy that, and that's what I'm saying about Halo Reach. It's the same thing. I'm sure there are people who would rather start as a zombie than start as a human. I'm pretty sure that yeah. that, that people people uh, people running up and letting zombies kill. Or I'm pretty sure there are people in Reach who probably allow them. Or if they're not starting as a zombie, they let themselves die real quick so they can become a zombie. Oh shit! Ah, fuck. All right. I'm pretty cool. sure. Or I'm not. Or like I'm pretty sure that is a thing people do. I, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, what it, I'm saying is, it's not, like, if you don't like it, that's fine, but, like, I wouldn't call it, or I wouldn't call it a, unba- a horribly, a horribly unbalanced mechanic or a unbalanced game type, because, honestly, I feel like it's very, or, I feel like it's very I would, fine. No, I wouldn't I, say I would it's agree. unbalanced. I said it's more unfun. Like, it's not fun. It, it's that's definitely subjective. balanced. That's subjective. That's your opinion at that point. Yeah. Okay. That's your point. <laughs> my, my point is, you were you were insult you were saying the game type as a whole is is just a bad or is is bad. The game type as a whole is not the, poorly the designed. Playing as the zombie team as a whole is just is just bad. Like as soon no, as you no. see yourself on the zombie team, you should be like, "This is horrible." I'm never gonna, or I hate this. Those specific <coughs> custom game mode versions of it, I design. I, I'm not, I say we're horrible. Okay. It's just. Because you just it, it it's just you dying a lot versus in Lasertron you you don't die it feels like you make progress it's I don't like the idea of zombies being able to whittle down the humans also honestly I'd rather have it be a one and done uh, a one and done shot why why yeah because the state or it's it's higher stakes it's more like I don't like the idea or for a I like the it's... idea of an all or nothing of it being all or nothing where either the zombie got got me or the zombie did not get me. And B, I, I, um, I don't like the idea that regardless of how well I'm doing, it's possible that th- that just like someone like just poking a single shot and will eventually just like wear wear me down to where I can no longer, or to where like I die. Well, that doesn't that increase the stakes though, because then you have to be even more careful than you've already been, already been before. I was trying to think of how to fucking word that, and I honestly could not think of it. For the life of me. It's also this. I feel, so in the context, a, a good thing to point out here is this is the par, this is the paradigm of the of the spitter, which is why there isn't one in HVZ. Is that uh, it's also just if you were going to have zombies be able to attack from a range, the thing I feel like that is an important difference is if zombies can attack from a range, yeah, you have to have that. Because, like, if a zombie, if I can be across yeah. the, the area and a, a zombie shoots me once and I'm dead, yeah, that's very much a problem. This is why uh, HVZ refuses to have spitters is because there be the, there's the problem of um, it's a one and done from a range is a big deal. Uh, that's why zombies or that's why humans are so much more powerful than zombies is because uh, humans can stun them from a distance. You can kill you can you can have a single shot blaster and four darts. You can uh, a we have the safe zones and b you can take out four zombies without or er, um <coughs> with a single shot blaster or like a single sock if you're good enough actually, um without them ever touching you because you have the range. If they also had the range, then th- th- you would have no chance there. Um, mm-hmm. 
this is why there's uh, no spitter in HVZ. Um, there's there's no ranged zombie. Um, for in that case, yes, it makes sense. I'm saying what I'm saying is I don't like the uh, I like the one and done aspect of Halo because the zombies in the playlist don't have any ranged attack, which I, I think is which I like. I I I, I don't I, like smart zombies. I don't know. It, it's still, it's still different in ways. I, I don't feel like arguing it's different it anymore. Ways. I don't know. The, it's different ways. I don't think I would hate playing that mode. It's just I would get frustrated. I feel like I would get annoyed by the I'm slowly getting whittled down in this. Or I'm slowly getting whittled down in like, uh, regardless I, of how well I'm doing. Also, just because how, the fact that the zombies also aren't a one and done. Um, which is, that's the thing I have the most problem with, because they are a one and done. I know from experience, you can just run up, or like, I know from experience running out to people and just (coughs) both like shooting each other and, or until whoever was the lower, or whoever was started lower loses. And, but you both end up low at the, or you both end up lower at the end. Yeah. That's what I don't like is the fact that zombies could, a zombie could run up to me and just like stand like right in front of me and just keep shooting. That was kind of what I abused in the Lasertron thing is that I knew I could whittle people down like that. That's why I think 10 lives would be good because you can, those 10 lives can be gone like that with rapid fire. That it's not, it's not so much a big deal. That's Um, the, that's the main issue I think I have is just the fact that you can just stand in front, like we, like they can, they come around the corner. I come around the corner. They, we just stand there, just like shooting each other. I'm going to win that, but I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be significantly further down. And, yeah, you got, you got. And, and I have, there's nothing I can do. I can't just like run around the, I can't run around the corner because if I run around the corner, I, I'm not hurting them. They're not hurting me. They'll just follow me. Um, there's no, there's no good. I feel like there's no good way out of that scenario, which is why I don't like them having more than like. I don't like that I they are not one and done. Cool. If it was like, if it was maybe like like two three five something like that i would be okay with that or that sounds that sounds like it'd be better i, no, also haven't played I it, so i have i'm ten, not like, i would say i would say from my experience 10 would be better um that's the thing too like in that game mode you're absolutely definitely guaranteed 100 percent gonna want to make sure you're nowhere near a zombie as best mm-hmm. as you can or else you are fucked and it, it's also worth noting that i only played that exactly three times so it's not like I have the most experience with the game mode because we don't have a. Oh, nice bingo. We don't have like the most uh, experience with it. <clears throat> Pick up. Oh my god. Yeah, I would say. Anyhow, I'm tired of this conversation. So next time on Spelltons, we've been sure. doing it. We've been at this for like probably two episodes worth now. So. Uh... In my defense, you asked about your you you. you... Are you raised a question about something that I'm very that I care much about? Yeah, that's fine. All right, so next next time on Spelltons, why color science is stupid, and you should never, <laughs> <laughs> and why we don't need it in today's society. All right, Cox color checker chart. <laughs> Bye.